I already know. People that don't wear seatbelts, they must be thinking, man, I'm the main character of life or something like that. Because I just don't get it. You know, maybe I'm just hating because I'm like the complete opposite side of the spectrum when it comes to seatbelt. Uh, somebody takes even more than five seconds to buckle in after I turn a key. And I'll be like, hey, what's up, buddy? Would you like to put on that seatbelt? Huh? Would you like to strap that life-saving device around your body? Yeah, let's do that, okay? And I feel so guilty because I feel like maybe I'm being too annoying about it. And you know, even when I try to persuade people nicely, which I usually try to do first, actually, even when I'm asking them nicely, I'm like, damn, why am I being a little bitch right now? You know, if that man or woman wants to not wear a seatbelt, just let them, let them get off their fucking nuts, nigga. God damn. <laughs> I already know what you're thinking. It's all right. You're just worried about their well-being. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, look, something else, though, is that, let's say that we do get in a car crash, you know, we collide into someone else's car, and your body, you know, your body, right, it ejects out of my car at supersonic speed through my windshield, I'm gonna have to witness that, I don't want that guilt on me, I'm gonna be feeling like, huh, I kinda had influence over how this guy died, I especially don't want somebody's stupid ass family trying to find a way to pin this on me. You were the one driving and you knew my kid didn't have a seatbelt on because I ain't into sparing people's feelings. I tell you, Ma, straight up. Hey, listen, Margaret, I know you're hurting right now, but your kid was a dumbass. Your, your kid was a dumbass that on multiple occasions refused, refused to strap up. Hey, next time, how about raising your kids just uh, a tad bit better, okay? I think it's the school's fault. I really do, you know? That driver's ed really messed us up, or at least messed me up. You know, all those sad-ass sob stories we had to listen to from people being injured by irresponsible driving, all those educational tapes we had to watch for an entire semester, they drilled that inside your head. So now anytime I see someone so much as speed up to pass a yellow light, I'm like, damn, okay, okay. That was some super villain shit, bro. But seatbelts in particular, I'm always giving people shit for. You know, especially whenever I hear people give the same old excuses. Uh, it, it makes my back hurt. It's uncomfortable. Or if they're the ones driving, they're like, I drive better with my seatbelt off. And that just boils me. Someone even had the nerve to tell me, you don't get it because you've never done it before. What? Yes, I have, and that shit was fantastic. It was amazing, but you should never do it. You understand me, huh? I'm trying to protect you. I'm trying. I remember this one afternoon. I was driving my sister's car. Now, I forget why. You know, maybe I was hanging at her house, and I needed to go to my mom's salon to, to, to pick up something for her or something like that, and I'm in her car driving through the streets and shit, and I'm like, Huh, something feels strange. Why does this feel so fun? And I look down and I'm like, oh, oh no, 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 no. My seatbelt, my seatbelt isn't plugged in. My hands are shaking, reaching for the fucking seatbelt. <sighs> but, but something makes me stop myself. And I look back up at the road and I'm like, you know what? This isn't so bad. This isn't bad at all. This, this is better than sex. Wow, I feel so free. Woo, this, this is stupendous. <laughs> you know what they don't tell you is that if you die in a car crash and you didn't have on your seatbelt, you don't go to heaven. That's right. You go to super heaven, all right? You're going to be at the pearly gates waiting to get in. And Jesus, he going to pull up in the limousine. Skirt, what you doing with these normies? Hop in, my nigga. Cut the 12 disciples in the back drinking wine and eating bread with some hoes. <laughs> with some hoes, bro. <laughs> yeah. But, um, 
Make sure to wear your seatbelt, though, okay? Don't be a fucking idiot.